Hi everybody, hope you're doing marvellously well. In this episode, we're going to get to try the Soyuz Bomblet microphone. And I'm going to give you a whole bunch of multi-tracks to download and mix. We've got our good friend Steve McGora to come in and sing and play piano. Matt Starr played drums. And we did the whole song, the song Layla, on one mic. So the whole kit's recorded with one mic. There's bass, there's guitars, there's pianos, there's vocals. It's going to be a lot of fun. So don't forget to download the multi-tracks and listen for yourself. All right, here it is. Comes in a rather beautiful case. It actually weighs a lot. This is really well made. Soyuz is actually a microphone that we use quite a lot. Camera pointing up, camera pointing up. Oh, look at that, what's that? We've recently been using it for um, the voiceover stuff because frankly, it sounds really good. The small diaphragm is wonderful on acoustic guitars and we used it on pianos and all kinds of other things. But here is the bomblet. It's rather gorgeous, isn't it? Da -da -da -da. So the little welcome pack here. I've got to say, Soyuz make beautiful looking microphones. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, this, first of all, substantial, case is substantial. I mean, who wouldn't want to have that on a mic stand? <laughs> when a singer comes in, it's really beautiful. There's something to be said for that, let's be honest. If you're gonna spend, what is this microphone? $1,200, $1,199. If you're gonna spend that kind of money on a microphone, you want it to look freaking cool. And this looks really, really cool. What else we got in here? Uh, looks like a pad, is that what that is? Yep, that is a 20 dB pad. And my would, I would imagine that it unscrews here and goes on there. Cable, always nice when it comes with my cable. Really, really nice cradle here. Well made, weighs pretty, Hefty. Oh, rather nice of them. Look at that. That might seem trivial, but a spare one of these. These tend to get mangled, you know, when moved around a lot. And then it looks like we've got a standard mic clip there if you just want to put it straight onto a mic clip and not put it in the cradle. Let's get going on it. But before we get going, I want to give you a little explanation of everything we've got. All the electric guitars are going to be trapped with my Revstar. This has been my main tracking guitar for the last couple of years now since I got it. Um, Huge, huge fan of this. One of my very good friends said it's the best playing Les Paul he's ever played. And we're using Ernie Ball strings, and my preferred gauge on that guitar is nine to 46s. The bass is going through the Acme. I still think this is the best bass DI I've ever played. It weighs a ton. It's a Motown DI, so it's got a huge transformer in it. The guitar we're printing a DI if you want to reamp it is going through the Rupert Neve, the RN DI, which is absolutely amazing. And this, I think, is my secret weapon, the Nobles. The ODR1, courtesy of Mr. Tim Pierce, who introduced me to Bernhard. This, I believe, is my favorite ever sounding overdrive. Absolutely incredible. And then the rather wonderful Compugilist. Compugilist, I think, is how you pronounce it properly. This actually has its own level of drive, which I was using on the which I use on the solo stuff, but also the compressor. So you're going to notice it's got a beautiful compressed sound. Last but no means least is the Carl Martin Echo Tone. This is my favorite delay. I think it's on pretty much every guitar we do. We just sometimes turn the echo down so it's barely in there, but it's a really, really beautiful analog sounding delay. It's really wonderful. Amp, of course, is the Deluxe Reverb. It's my Tone Master, which I absolutely love. So I'm micing that. And we have an Ampeg combo for the bass. The acoustic guitar is the Yamaha LL16. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous acoustic guitar. Been on every record we've made for ages now. And the drums, which of course were played by Mr. Matt Starr, is my wife's drum kit, a Ringo kit, a Ludwig from 1964. And because we're using one mic only, we all we had was a hat. So we're doing hat, kick, and snare. No toms, no cymbals. It's pretty fun. And of course, the 
Baldwin student model piano that I have was recorded with the Soyuz as well. So the Soyuz is on every single thing. It's a one mic on every single track on this. Let's give it a listen. Nobody's waiting. 
So this is really beautiful. I really love this mic. I had a great time recording and I find honestly we didn't have to do too much on a mix. Download the files for yourself and make up your own mind. The reason why we do this is because we want you to hear how it sounds. As ever, of course, it is this microphone going for the Audient ID44. It's going to give you an opportunity to basically see how it would work with one of your home setups. Don't forget, you can enter to win. It's a beautiful microphone. Tell me what you think. Mix the track. Upload it. Love to hear it. Academy members, of course, you know, we're going to review this and we're going to listen to all of your mixes and critique them. So have a marvelous time recording and mixing. Enter to win. And we'll speak to you all again very, very soon. Mm -hmm.